you can import data from Excel spreadsheet to a new table. Access creates a copy of the data. You can import all the data from a worksheet or define a named range that includes only the cells that you want to import. Open Excel and open the worksheet. Select the range of cells that you want to import. Right click within the selected range and then click on define name. In the new name dialog box, specify a name for the range in the name box and click on OK. Zip fields data type is integer. You can see one of the record has alphanumeric value in zip. Let's see how access handles invalid data. Close the Excel file. On the external data tab in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then Excel from the shortcut menu. The get external data Excel spreadsheet wizard opens. In the file name text box, type the name of the source Excel file or click on browse to display the file open dialog box. Browse to the location and select the source Excel file. Click on open. Select import the source data into a new table in the current database. Click on OK. The import spreadsheet wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Click on show worksheets for a list of worksheets. Click on show named ranges for a list of named ranges. You can import only one worksheet or named range. Select either the worksheet or the named range that you want to import and then click on next. If the first row of the source worksheet or range contains the field names, select first row contains column headings. Access uses these column headings to name the fields in the table. You can change these names either during or after the import operation. Click on next. You can review and change the field properties. Click on a column in the lower half of the page to display the corresponding fields properties. You can review and change the name and data type of the destination field. To create an index on the field, set index to S. To completely skip a source column, select the Do Not Import Field checkbox. Click on Next. Specify a primary key for the table. If you select Let Access Add Primary Key, Access adds an auto number field as the first field in the destination table and assigns it as a primary key. Click on Next. Type a name for the destination table, then click on Finish. If Access was able to import some or all the data, Save Import Steps dialog box appears. If there are any errors, the status message mentions the name of the error log table that contains the description of any errors that occurred during the import operation. You can save the details of the operation for future use as a specification. Click on Close. Customers and customers underscore import errors tables appear in the navigation pane. Customers underscore import errors has details of the errors which were caused during the import process. You can see error, field and row are listed. Open the destination table in datasheet view. Notice that in the zip field where there was invalid data, the value is null. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.